Hey guys, Kewin here. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. And if you are a returning subscriber, thanks for coming back to see me. Okay, so this video was kind of like a first impressions video. Um, I just got in the, the Too Faced peanut butter and honey palette and um, I haven't really played around with it so today I thought I would you know, kind of give it a try and play around with it. I know I'm super late about getting this palette but they had um, a sale going on on Too Faced so I couldn't help myself and pick it up. So if you guys want to see um, how I use the palette, keep on watching. Hey y'all, so I'm back with another video. So I wanted to first start off with prepping my face. I've already moisturized, but I'm gonna be priming my face with the Angel Bell by NYX. I really like this stuff. Um, if you're not familiar with some of my other videos, um, I have super oily skin, so I found that this primer does a really good job at keeping my face pretty matte. I know a lot of girls on YouTube have compared it to the Hourglass. Um, I cannot think of the name, but I know that they have um, compared it to that. I don't know because I've never tried that one, but I do like this color. So while I'm rubbing this into my skin, can we just take a moment and look at my curls? They were so defined and popping. Let me know if you guys want to see what I put in my hair to get it this way, because they were definitely looking so good. Okay, so I know I am super late on all of these products, but I recently picked up the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, and I have really been loving it. Um, it's really light, and I don't really like heavy products or anything like that, so this is in the color Cafe. Um, it's number 30, and it really blends out really well. So I sprayed my MAC Fix Plus on my Real Techniques sponge. I really like it. It's I don't see any difference between that and the beauty blender, but I don't know. Um, and I also have a scar right there, so I had to apply some concealer there, but um, I really like this concealer. So next, I will be brightening up my face a little bit and applying concealer under my eyes. This is my Shea Moisture Concealer in the color Almond. I really like this concealer as well because it's really light. Um, I don't really like heavy concealers. Um, like I said, I'm really oily and I really don't like the feeling of having caked on makeup. So I really like the light or lightest products that I can put on my face and still give me a little bit of coverage. Um, I like those types of products. So I really like this concealer as well. So y'all probably think I'm doing this backwards, but I'm really not. I just don't like to apply my concealer or my brightener concealer on top of my foundation because sometimes I think it's too light so I apply it like underneath my foundation to kind of um, tone it down with my foundation that way it's not too bright. Um, I really kind of like more of a natural look so um, that's why I apply it first before I apply my foundation. So I have recently been hooked on this uh, tinted moisturizer. Um, I seen it in a video here on YouTube. It was Lipstick and Curls. I love her videos. I love her channel. But I was watching one of her videos and she used this um, tinted moisturizer as a foundation and I love it. It's buildable, it's lightweight, and it's not full coverage but you definitely can probably build it up. This is the color 7.5 Honey, and it has SPF 20 in it. It's just overall really good. I really like it. It feels really moisturized, which would probably be bad since I'm really oily, but once I set it with powder, it's good to go. I just like it overall because it's super lightweight. Next, I'm going to be contouring with my e.l.f. Uh, moisturizing foundation stick in the color coffee. I have absolutely been loving this to contour with because it's again lightweight and it just lightly gives me a little bit of a bronze look.
Next, I'm going to be setting my face or under my eyes in the different areas you're gonna see. I'm setting it with the Laura Mercier powder and translucent. Next, I'll be setting my whole face with the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder in the color Deep. It's number 35, and I really have been liking this powder to kind of just set my face all over, and I have noticed that my makeup stays in place, so I'm not mad at it. You definitely cannot beat the price. It's a really good price, so um, I definitely do like this setting powder. So next, I'm going to be browning up my face. You guys have seen this palette before. It's from BH Cosmetics, and I'm just taking this shade and just going over where I applied the um, e.l.f. moisturizing stick. You all have seen this palette too from BH Cosmetics, but I'm just going to be using it to apply my blush. So now I'm just going to work on my brows. Um, I'm not going to go into much detail about how I do them because I have a video here on my channel and I'll link it down in the description box down below so you can go watch that. This is the NYX Micro Brow Pencil in the color Ash Brown. Time for my eyeshadow. So I have a lot of thoughts about this palette, which I will give you my final thoughts in the end, but it was really hard to work with this palette. You'll see, I tried to use Mac Fix Plus to wet the eyeshadows to get some color payoff, but nothing was really working, and you'll see in the following clips. But um, I was trying to go for a yellow, um, warm color eyeshadow look but um, it was definitely hard to work with and hard to get the color to pay off and give that yellow warm orangey brown color
Okay, so my final thoughts on the palette. Um, I really, I don't know. The colors in it are so pretty, but when I was using it, it definitely was not my favorite to use. Um, I definitely had to really, really like dig in there with the uh, lighter colors like, uh, what's it called? Queen Bee and even Honey Buns, the yellow and this like cream color right here. I really had to like dig into it to really get some color payoff and I still didn't even get any color payoff. I even used MAC Fix Plus to kind of wet the brush that I was using to get some color payoff. I, I just could not get it. Um, I don't know if you can even tell like on my lids right now. I really wanted the yellow to kind of pop but I really couldn't get that to pop. So I don't know, maybe I wasn't using it correctly or maybe, um, I don't know, maybe it's just the palette itself. Um, I just cannot really get the colors to really show up, except for the browns. I love browns. If you can't tell, I really like warm colored palettes. Um, I'm, I love warm co colors, so a lot of my looks are warm colors. If you guys want to see more colors, like different kind of colors, um, eye looks, Comment down below. I definitely can play around and would like to do more stuff like that. Um, but like I was saying, I really like warm looks, so that's why I was what I was trying to go for. But really, all I could get really was the brown colors to really shine. Um, I really wanted this color called Bee's Knees to show up, but it didn't. It's so pretty. It has like gold flecks in it and I really wanted that to show up really but I really didn't get that to come up it just came across more of like an a deep orange um like a burnt orange color so uh, I don't know I'm definitely gonna have to play around with it more to see if I can get a better color payoff but first impression not my favorite good thing it was on sale because it just I would not have spent um, if I can go back, I would not spend however much this palette, you know, runs for. Like, I know it's definitely not, like, a cheap palette, so um, definitely not something I would repurchase, but I definitely am going to play around with it and see what I can do with it. Um, thumbs up this video if you liked it. If you like more of these videos, thumbs it up so I know that you guys like these kind of videos, and I can definitely do more. Comment down below if you have tried this palette and if you've had kind of like the same trouble or if it, you know, was totally different for you guys. Comment down below. Um, let me know if I need to do something differently. Um, but I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video and that's all I have for y'all today. So I will see you guys next time. Bye.